Hi friends, let's talk about what the hell I'm still doing here. So pretend with me for a second that it's still 2014. I'm in my first year out of college and one April I decide to take the camera I've been using for the past three years to record my college dance company performances and make time-lapse art projects and point it at my face and start talking. I started out using this camera as a public diary or not even that at first, more of like a public MySpace survey repository, but hey, it's 2014, it's young girl talking about her self season, and that's all I wanna watch too. So I make a bunch of friends who are talking about themselves and what it's like to be a person with their size and shape and color in their part of the world. I fly to California and stay in a hotel room with strangers, and I sit in a conference center carpet in a circle with a bunch of other bedroom camera talky people and we talk about how to protect each other and the tide rises together my friends and i spend the next few years working hard to grow our channels and talk each other up and share our audiences build communities together and personally i work hard to be a better writer my stories get sharper i start trying to make them mean something i find my lane and i get comfortable and maybe I get too comfortable. I asked my Patreon supporters sometime last year who you'd like to see me make things with, and a lot of you said most of your favorite creators have mostly stopped uploading, or that maybe even you've stopped going on YouTube that regularly. And uh, yeah, it's not, it's not 2014 anymore, is it? A lot of the people that I came up with got grown-up jobs and got too busy or started doing behind-the-scenes stuff in the industry or just kind of outgrew the self-indulgent navel-gazing in a way that I sure haven't. They just kind of moved away from YouTube and also YouTube moved away from us. Five minute videos talking into a camera earnestly about your feelings is not like what anybody wants anymore. <laughs> so a lot of my friends have gone away and a lot of my audience has gone away. So why am I still here? One of the reasons is because I'm stubborn, goddammit. I make what I want to make because that's kind of stuff that I still like to watch. That's not to say that I don't also watch 50 minute long cooking videos <laughs> produced by a full team of people. Like there are definitely still people making good things in ways that the algorithm lifts up. But let's be honest, I'm really only good at one thing. So whenever I try to kind of like pivot in that direction, it kind of feels like when I got popular in eighth grade by buying a bunch of Abercrombie t-shirts and a hair straightener and it was really fun to have everybody like me, but then I didn't like me. And like, why bother making things that nobody watches if I don't even like making those things? So I try, as Lena Norms recently put it, to not be the algorithm's bitch and keep making videos like it's 2008 because I like them that way and I really value your time that you are giving to me. So if I only have five minutes worth of stuff to say, that's all I'm gonna put up. And that's the other reason I'm here still is because you're here still. Maybe fewer of you than were here before, but I kind of think that I would keep posting these videos even if I knew that like one or two of you were still there to listen. Because context collapse aside, even though I am talking to an anonymous everyone when I turn on my camera, I started making these videos when I was like, such a soft and pliable person. But I've spent nearly every week for the past six years trying to puzzle through who the hell I am and what I'm here for. And having you here to respond to me, to challenge me, to make me think more and care more, you've helped me become a better artist and a stronger person. You made me this goddamn stubborn because I know who I am and I know what I wanna make and it's not cool, but it's good. So thank you for believing it's good. So I wanna do a couple of things to say thank you. The first is this, thank you. The second is to give you a little extra content stuff. So I have spruced up my Patreon page a little bit. We're calling it the Radish Collective now. Shout out to Mason and Emmeline for helping me come up with a name. There, every month I send my $5 patrons a newsletter, but I made my January newsletter public for free for everyone. You don't even have to like sign up or have a Patreon account or anything. You just go to the link down below me and read a little letter that I wrote to you. Listen to a playlist that I made to you. If you wanna get them every month, you can become a patron. 
but this one is just yours to enjoy. And the last thing is that I made you a zine. It's like a weird little origin story of my obsession with bat drawings. It's called Badly Drawn Bats. And if you join the Radish Collective this month before February 28th, I will send you a free PDF download of it. And I'll put your name on the inside right here, this blank page, as a thank you. I think it was originally supposed to be this like goal reward that if I get to 100 patrons or something, I would release it, but it's done now and I want you to have it now, so we're just gonna go with it. I'm also gonna make some more physical copies, which just is like me at the library copy machine, but the Radish Collective that helps me not quit YouTube by like paying for my captions and editing software are gonna get it first, and their names are gonna be inside it. So thank you for being here. Please tell me in comments about something that you haven't given up on, and I will see you next week. Bye.